Let's head now to Shida Night Market in Taipei to meet a beloved local stall owner. Every day at 4 p.m., Wu Tian Ao opens his fish soup stall for hungry customers. The soup is a favorite midnight snack among students from National Taiwan Normal University. But Wu has not always been a chef. He spent the first half of his life involved in criminal gangs, only to turn his back on crime a decade ago. Let's hear a story. This street stall is thronged with customers queuing up every evening. They come for the famous fish soup. A pot full of fish and homemade stock bubbles furiously. The chef gets up around 2 or 3 a.m. every day to go and select fish in Jilung's Kanza Ding fish market. He only uses deep sea marlin belly in the soup, so it's all soft and chewy, but preparing it takes four hours daily. Sometimes deep sea fish have pockmarks from microorganisms, which all have to be taken care of one by one. The soup is not over flavored, just seasoned with some carefully chosen strips of ginger and green onions. That allows the fish to shine. And of course, to accompany the soup, you need rice. Braised pork rice with fish flakes is another famous dish at the stall. It only uses pork gel, no fatty bits. So the dish isn't oily, but rather jumps fresh out of the dish. The chef was inspired by an unforgettable meal he ate in southern Taiwan. He really left a big impression on me, so I went back there to find him, and I bothered him until he agreed to teach me. So I worked in their restaurant for free. Now 39, Chef Wu makes no secret of his troubled early life. He was involved in criminal gangs for 17 years before having an epiphany and deciding to give up crime to set up a business. I met many setbacks which I used to think were gang morality and justice, but in the end I realized everything can be destroyed by money. That's when I finally woke up. I thought I should face up to my life properly. Those years of confusion left Wu grateful for a chance to lead a more grounded life. He puts his all into making each dish the best it can be. After nine years in the kitchen, he's won the heart of many local foodies and become a cherished part of the NTNU culinary scene.